Hi, I'm Mr. Veronelli. Um, I work here at Nantuck High School as a social studies teacher, and I am the 2022 Teacher of the Year. I always wanted to be a teacher since I was a little kid. I was the weird kid who asked for the overhead projector and the whiteboard for Christmas. So the first thing is just working with the kids. Every day is different. They come in with all the different personalities and thoughts on the world, and they really, um, as much as I teach them, they kind of teach us back. To be honest, I really, I really like it, and I think that I teach some fun stuff. I got to start a pop culture course this year, and to to bring that to the students and see their take on it and how they're going to receive what we're doing. I think definitely a challenge is sometimes just fatigue, and not just like fatigue as a teacher, but just students coming in and they're tired and you know it's they got a lot on their plate and finding a way to to motivate them to be sometimes a challenge, which then at the end of the day, it's definitely all tiring and it's very rewarding. So my main strategy is to be myself and to encourage them to be themselves. I'm, uh, you know, I come in and I don't hide who I am. I'm in my 30s. I love Disney. Um, I love Pokemon and I share that on day one. And I think that them, Knowing I'm so comfortable opening up to them makes them more open with me. And once they're comfortable, once it's a comfortable environment for everybody, you really could get to the education part and, and do what needs to be done. He's super sweet. I love him so much. Like He's like my favorite teacher, even though I haven't even had his class for real. And me and him bonded over Disney because we both love Disney. We like Disney World. And he's still like, even though I haven't had him for a teacher, he's willing, he was willing to help me with any work I needed help with. The word is like bubbly. We both are very bubbly people. Looking at pop culture and, you know, I don't know if every teacher can have this huge debate on whether or not Jack Black is this, this great actor. And somehow that turned into the most heated debate I've ever had in, in my classroom. And I taught government and politics for five years. But just bringing in, you know, my outside experiences and kind of my interests and then being able to find out students and bringing that in. I think makes this a really unique experience for students. Yeah, we would listen to like pop culture songs and I would always put him on to other songs because his music taste was not good. It was very, just a very comforting environment. Like he's very understanding of people's situations. He's always made his work easy for me. He's always helped me in many ways more than once, helped me emotionally and also helped me with my grades. He gives advice to kids at, that deal with actual real life problems, not just school, but also outside. So when I first started as a student teacher, I really loved the show Shark Tank. And so we were doing the Industrial Revolution, and I said, wouldn't it be cool that if we recreated the show, but the sharks would be the great industrialists of that time. So I dressed up as Andrew Carnegie, and had some of my colleagues come in as John Rockefeller and the other great industrialists. And students had to be in character as inventors during the Industrial Revolution. And they had created something that today we take for granted, like the elevator, for example. But for them, they were pitching this idea as if it was brand new. And they had to explain it to someone who didn't know what it was. And that's actually a, a difficult task for a student because whenever they use the phrase like, you know, an elevator, it goes up and down, we'd be like, no, in character, we don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is it like magic? We've done that now for about eight years. And now actually every, every U.S. history class does it here. And it's just been that first magical kind of lesson for me. And it's just still every year I look forward to that. He tries to make like every lesson fun and like encouraging us to do it. I have U.S. history and um, American pop culture with Mr. V. It's amazing. Um, it's a nice and like safe environment and it makes everyone feel welcome. Really and truly, Mr. Vernelli is pretty flexible and I think that when you have a teacher that actually asks you questions and engages in what you like rather than just trying to teach you something according to the books, it makes you understand the teacher and they understand you. Mr. Veronelli, our Teacher of the Year, there's so much to say about him. He is, as a teacher, he's creative, he's innovative, he 
cares about his kids, he makes his colleagues better, but I think what makes Mr. Varinelli so unique and so special to Naugatuck High School is that he, in a lot of ways, is like the beating heart of our school spirit. He goes above and beyond to really help students organize events that make them proud to be Greyhounds, that make them love coming to school every day, and that is a, a quality that is really, really rare to find. We are so lucky to have him on our staff. He makes all of us enjoy coming to work every day. He makes all of our kids enjoy coming to school every day. And honestly, what more could you ask for? Just a thank you again to everyone for this uh, incredible honor. It really means so much to me. Um, and to uh, just everyone I work with, like this has been uh, an awesome 10 years here. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else.